Hey, I'm Pete Smith here today at Richie's Art Exhibit. So we're going to come over and see this uh, wonderful artist here, my brother Richard Smith. Hey, you've seen this before in other videos. This is my tremendous, great younger brother. He was, he was going to say older, but <laughs> no, nah, he actually is younger, believe it or not. So this is Rich Smith and he's done all this incredible artwork around here. Um, we're going to show it to you in a minute. But for now, I just want to talk to you, Richard. Uh, yes, tell us sir. how this how, tell us how you started with this artwork uh, business. Well, it's a long story, but well, I will... we only have about five minutes. So, OK, 55 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, 55 okay. minutes. Uh, where will we start? Um, well, how did you uh, what actually what made I'll, you... I'll make it real short and quick. About 15 years ago, I started doing a little artwork and uh, having a little fun with it. And then about 10 years ago, I've been having a couple seizures and I finally had a pretty bad seizure and the state took my license away. So I really started doing some artwork, getting into it. People told me I was pretty good. And so I don't know if I started doing a little bit more um, and throwing it around uh, up on my wall at home. And I sold a couple pieces on and off, gave away quite a few. And uh, Peter, like some of it, he uh, took a couple pieces. Did you sell a piece for me or two, Pete? Yeah, we sold a couple. I think he did. Um, Keiko had, did I give you one Keiko? I think I did. Keiko's over here. Yeah, She's you've part given of the film many, here. Many yes. friends have gotten your pieces. and Yes. And then uh, my lovely friend Joyce decided an idea to start a gallery. She is just so talented. She had went to school for some artwork uh, years back. And she knows how to frame them and mat them. And doing that brought out a lot of color in these in these. Uh, works that I did and that's how we come to create this gallery well actually she did all the work I created them I was just the artist and that's why we came to having this showing of the artwork it is all for sale um Joyce priced them too uh fairly low I believe um, that really doesn't matter what matters is that I enjoy doing the work and I hope everybody else enjoys it I found that when I came out of seizures it made me start drawing more it made me feel the flow of the art it's mostly abstract and Joyce has kind of pushed me now to start doing the artwork more and I find it's more relaxing because I do get a lot of seizures and I'm out of work like I said for 10 years and it's just really a fun thing to do and it seems to relax me and um, I'm told again to continue to do it and you know, I'm one that gets down on myself a lot. I, I get into depressions a lot, but this work seems to bring me out of depressions, and I'm really starting to enjoy it again, so I hope everybody else enjoys it. Again, my thanks to Joyce, because she's really pushed me, and she's an artist herself, too, so maybe we'll get some of her work up here. We absolutely will, and uh, if we can get Joyce on camera, we're going to get her on camera. We're going oh, to love ask you her to. about she this. She deserves it. She, um, she deserves but it. in the meantime I want to stick stick with you and um, ask you do you have uh, a background in art I mean did you do art did you go to school did no you like none art of that at all kid? this is none at all the only stuff I wrote was graffiti <laughs> in the park when I was doing drugs in fact we did a video or two if you look on YouTube we have a couple of videos of our background Pete himself is a big video buff he has plenty of videos that you can check on YouTube under Pete Smith. My brother giving me a plug. Yes, I have to. Middle and, of his um, art show. As an Academy but, Award actor. That's right. Yes, yes. He's, also, he, Academy he's, Award. he's a big shot, this guy. But uh, It's in the future. But yes, it's it, in the future. It happened in the future. He's capitalist, too. <laughs> but uh, as so am I. But no, I really have no experience. It's so trial and error, and it just so happened. We do have another artist in the crowd here, too. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, Okay, so who's that? Ron Longstaff. That's Ron, Ron over here. Ron Longstaff. Yes. So he, Ron he's Longstaff. actually stuck. Uh, he's coming into his own too. He showed me some of his artwork. So it's a big art gathering here today. So give him plugs for everybody right now. Right. But as far as my background, no. Um, it just came into its own. Uh, our twin is an artist too. He's gone through some rough times now, but I think he's going to make a comeback too. So maybe there's a little twin energy there. So strange things have happened. But again, 
no school, no nothing. But sometimes things happen that way. We were talking okay. about that earlier. So um, let me ask you a question. Go right ahead. <laughs> do you remember when you first started doing your artwork? Do you remember what you did, what the piece was, what the you used? The first one I did was in black and white pencil. It was black and white pencil. Now that doesn't make sense. It was in black pencil well, on white paper. Good. Mm -hmm. And our friend Tracy, Tracy Lamana, who married John Lamana, Tracy, she bought that piece. It was old men. It looked like that figure on Aqualon, Jethro Toe album, that okay. man leaning over that was the first picture i ever drew okay and she bought that when we had that get together and sold some art when i got out of the hospital from the heart attack yes five I remember. years ago that was the first piece i ever drew about 15 years ago okay so you started off in pencil yeah. now i do see some pencil but i see a ton of color so how did you get into color um what did you start what, where do you get your paints from? Where do Pats, you get your materials from? Pastel. Tell me about that. Well, because I heard you're kind of like a green artist. Yes. Like you use materials and... Garbage paint. picking. Okay. Let's I, talk I, about I, that. All right. Yes. Okay. If and you don't, the paint, where does the paint sometimes come from? Um, dumpsters. Dumpsters? Okay. Yes, that's the truth. Some of it is from dumpsters. More as I grew a little bit more into it, I did go to places like um, AC Moore and whatnot. But... All joking aside, it was from there. I started garbage picking frames. I started borrowing other people's brushes, um, getting some. You go to Walmart and you get the mixed paints that they throw out, discount price. It was just that way, you know. I had to scratch and crawl at the beginning and uh, mix paints up and just, again, trial and error to figure out how. Joyce has a piece in her hand right now that I just did on cloth. Okay, let's take a look at this. I did Joyce, this. bring that a little closer. I, I, I call this one housework. Uh, let, me, let me give you a little mic here. Because let me, let me get it's in painted you on a washcloth. What do you call that? Housework. Housework. Yeah. Okay. It's painted on a washcloth. And it just shows how beautiful housework can be because you're building a home. I just took watercolors and acrylic. And I just kept on rubbing. Oh, hold stuff on. Let me get you a cloth. I'm sorry, I don't have more than That's one. That's acrylic right and uh, watercolors. I kept on rubbing it into a cloth, a washcloth. Now, this one I didn't have much supply. And that's how I just started doing stuff like this. Okay, so, so that's actually a uh, washcloth. Yeah. Okay. And a lot, of these, a lot of these paintings and whatnot here are just some of the frames like garbage pick, like I said. Some I had to bend back into, some I had to reconnect the wood. Now, Joyce has went far and above to uh, get a hold of frames. A lot of them that she sent out messages on her phone and asked for people that were thrown away or had old ones laying around their house. Okay. And they donated it to her. Okay. And she went out of her way to clean them up and fix so, them back up. So, you know, this is all from scratch, so to speak. They were all, you know, and then she did the work of cleaning them up and put the artwork in them. Okay. But as far as my artwork, again, it was just uh, scratching things out and using a lot of different mediums. Most of them are probably, are probably pastel. Um, some watercolor, some pencil. Uh, only one oil. Only one oil. And I, okay. I, this here was one of the first or second things I did too. This was has phone numbers in it. I don't know whose numbers they were. It was probably from from uh, when I first moved in my apartment. And there's a couple numbers of sorts, different numbers, not phone numbers. There's just all odds and ends, little pictures and all. But I remember this being very early on. And uh, it was framed. It's just actually a ragged piece of paper. And that was framed nicely. That was very early on. Beautiful. This here we talked about, that was from a newspaper well, let's that was get stuck. Joyce, let's get Joyce to tell us about it. Joyce, would you tell us about this, please? Yeah, you this, told this story this, earlier, and I wanted to... This, this painting, under the painting, is the story in the New Jersey Herald of when uh, Kyle DeGroat won the Special Olympics, and it has a picture of him saying, yay! And the emotions that are in that article came out right, right in this piece. And... Um, you know, Kincaid is the painter of light. I see Rich Smith as the painter of emotion. Um, 
I bought this piece um, and this piece down below and it's got it I I view it as um, a 12-step piece and everybody who looks at it sees a different step in the different panes so um, I really like that one because all the emotions are right there they're raw and if you want to turn this around whoa yeah and if you put this in the sunlight it gives you different colors too yeah okay. and it says faith and it says hope and it it's just really vibrant now this is a hundred years old yeah. and if you um the window it's a window so if you let the sunlight out in like a garden it will give you a hundred different combinations of color so where so where did you find this uh These this piece we down the road one day years ago and I asked the people that were standing out there, an older couple, what they were going to do, and they said I could have them. I have about six or seven of them. Now I've, I've sold uh, three or four of them that were six panes. i got more at home I'm going to do work on. This is all glass, 100 years old. 100 years or better. So. And, and the way I got my hands on this, and this is how it all started, I saw this posted online. And it was posted, and I jumped on it, and I bought it. And now it's here in Rich's show because it's Rich's work. But I put a crazy price on it because I don't want anybody to buy it. So um, if you want it, you have to pay five grand, and then you can get it. I'm not letting it go for less. Okay, 5000 <laughs> You heard it, 5000 for that. If you want it. You want to bid more than 5000 You may get it. Let's take a look at this one here. What's this one about, Richard? Uh, I drew that a long time ago. A long time ago, I drew that. That was just uh, something out of my mind. I decided it was, I was um, it had something to do about I was, I, I was emotional at the time. And I just I think I was talking with somebody that was really down on life, and I was trying to tell them that let go of the past and think about the future. And it reminded me of growth you know with the the dirt there and the plant growing and so i tied it all into all saints have a past meaning and he's he was going through some stuff he had done and all sinners have a future to tell him to put put aside the past and you know look forward to the future everything's going to be all right and i i made that picture all saints have a past all sinners have a future yep. yeah beautiful okay but this is one of my favorites right all here right, let's this took a lot of work I'm told that this thing was my best or close to it. This is very, very deep if you look at it. A lot going on in here. A real lot. Now you really have to study, well art, art to anybody, everybody has a different perception of art. And so you, one person might see one thing and another person might see a completely different thing. But to me, I could look at this all night and just get lost in it. Personally, I, I that's one of my favorite. This one, this one. My most favorite is this one over here. Okay, why don't we talk about this one then? Come on over here. This is one and, of the, uh, tell me about another, this piece. another first one of mine is, this reminds me of maybe the inside of, side of a woman's womb. Now, I know nothing about woman's womb, but it just for some reason tells me. I, that's done in pastel. Now, it's chalk pastel. It's very hard to work with chalk pastel. You have to be very careful because it's flakes, chalk pastel flakes. You got to be easy with it. But and it just—I remember doing this when I was doing. I was very relaxed. I just—it just. And this paper I use is very fine. It's like a newspaper type paper, and so you can see that it's kind of curved the paper, but it sits perfectly in there. And that was uh, it. Just whenever I look at it, I just feel so good when I look at that. That's one of the things in art. Okay. Same with this one. I mean, there's so many. I can, you can go on and on about it all. And, you know, I don't know. The one over here with the star man, I call him. Let's go to have the a big look. one in the pit. Which one? This one right here. He's got okay. glitter on him from a different angle. He's got glitter on him. And, and he's... Come on uh, over here and talk about it. It took a while to do him. He's also done on that paper... 
and this is just I started doing him. He's he's got definition in him if you could look because he comes out. And this took so many little things with pa pastel. This is the this is the oil pastel. And it took a lot of little lines I did with a pencil on top of the pastel to bring it out. And then I rub in the other pastels. This was first started with pencil to trace it, to track it, I should say. And then pastel over pastel. I wasn't sure what it was going to be. I started with the face. And I put it off balance. And it just came out to be the star man, I called it. Star man. Yeah, and nice. So this is, now they're all just like, I don't really know what I'm doing when I do them. This here was one of my favorites too. This is just your basic pastel rose. I'm not sure even if it's a rose, but you know, when I do this artwork, I just, you know, it's just something that I was, I tell people I just sit down and start doing it. Now, who is this? You were going to say something about this. This is piece. just a very, very, very intricate, what would the word be, articulate? Intricate. Or? Intricate, thank you. This took for maybe about three hours to do. And if you look closely at all the little lines in it, I mean, that is really tough to do. Hmm. Tell me tell me about this woman. I, I really am intrigued I by this picture here. Who is the woman and, and what is the picture I have about? seen a picture of somebody, of a girl similar to that, but... Let me get on this I was side talking to talk our, Tell me about this picture. I was talking to our fellow friend that was here before. Um, Don was his name? Dave? Ron? Ron, before. And we were talking about how you can look at certain pictures and then... Deviate, is that the word you can, yeah. yeah, from that picture. And so the woman looks sort of like this, but I said, I'm going to do something a little different than that. And so, and of course we don't trace. I just freehanded something a little different and it actually became a lot more different. It, the head came more square to hair and her boobs are a lot bigger and the outline. So it became more of a larger woman, the face had more of a big jaw bone, but when I was done with it, I said, wow, I really like that. It kind of looked, looked like almost a man woman. Now I really filled it in with nice pastel here. This was pencil here. And I filled the outside with pastel. And I said, this is great with the colors. I just played it out with nice colors in there. And I thought the green went real good with the yellow. Put a light white with a little pink background. Uh, I mean, excuse me, lavender background. And it came out great. I just and that's one, another one of my favorites. What, I used, is, what is the, um, what did you use for this? Pastels. Uh, it's all pastels. pastels. Yes. Pastel, a little ink. I mean, a little, most of my things with pastels are started with pencil, color pencil. And then I put the pastels over. And this is just my, I work mostly on eyes in this. And it's just, this is my favorite set of eyes in anything. This is just These a, two eyes here. Yes. This is a spooky picture. Ribs. I, you know, people ask me, why, what's the meaning of some of these? And I say, that's the beauty of abstract, that it's what anything, anybody wants to think of it, such as these. These are all abstract. This is, this is, this is abstract. When you look at that, you can think whatever you want. It's beautiful. And, you know, some people might say, what is that? What is that? I say, what do you want it to be? Whatever you want it to be, that's what it is. I love this one. You were just I talking about one. that. Yeah, this is the creation. That's God making Adam, and then the love creates Eve, and then the within the heart are two sperm that made the babies. Let's see, does somebody see something else? Here's one here, I'd like you to show you this one. This was one that made me think, now nobody might not see this, but. That's the trade centers. That's when I made this. It was a little a few years after, but this is a building and that's one of them. And I put Serene with the city that way and I put Faith with the city upside down. And then I put this coloring on it, kind of like blue coming out, if you notice it, but you know, all lines going this way and that way. And that's the border, that's not me, this tiger color. But that's the picture I put in there. Now, nobody might not see this, this is a fire coming off it. But these two things, if you notice, they're like square buildings going up, the two purple squares. That's what I see out of it, the trade centers. Got it. See, so these are Excellent. This is a bird, and this is another two. You know, so that's what abstract is all about for me. And that's it, that's it in a nutshell, you know.